This is a patient who had pelvic pain post-placement of an intrauterine device. You can see as we get the CAT scan, there's small pleural effusion, a small pericardial effusion. We can see that there's right-sided hydronephrosis, but I really want to go down all the way to the pelvis, and down there you can see that indeed the IED has been placed, but it's really been extruded out from the uterine uh, cavity itself and is now sort of lying uh, in between this collection, which is interposed between the uterus and the, uh, the bladder itself. Lots of soft tissue, lots of inflammatory change in this location. There are rim-enhancing collections in the adnexa. We can look at this on the uh, sagittal plane as well, where the IUD is sort of perforated through the uterus um, with this rim-enhancing collection surrounding it with additional rim-enhancing collections in the pelvis. You know, these findings are compatible with multiple abscesses um, in the setting of IED perforation, and all that inflammatory change as well has sort of surrounded that distal right ureter, resulting in um, spasm and uh, narrowing, which then in turn results in that right hydronephrosis that we saw.